Well, Wisconsin may be famous for its cheese curds and brats, but it is also home to some remarkable inventions. That's what Mary Jo is learning about this morning. She's at the Wisconsin Historical Museum with <laughs> a lot more than that. Hello. Hello, good morning, Robin Charlotte. There are dozens of Wisconsin original inventions, innovations, and ideas that came out of our state and have really influenced life all across the world. Now, joining us this morning is Joe Kapler here. He's a museum courier at the Historical Museum. So thanks for getting up this morning, Joe. And for starters, tell us about this exhibit. It's been going on since 2011, but it's also coming to an end. That's correct. We're up here on the fourth floor of the Wisconsin Historical Society Museum up on Capitol Square. And on the fourth floor, we have Wisconsin innovations from the iconic to the unexpected. So it's those ideas, exhibits, inventions that originated in one way or another in the Badger State. Uh, things you probably heard of and things you never would have thought of. And one of the things you might not have ever thought of is surfing. So tell, us about, so tell us about this gentleman back here who we have who you say really changed the world of surfing. Certainly we say that, and we say that because the surf world has said that Tom Blake, originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is essentially a father figure in modern surfing. So this, this boy from the Midwest went out to California, took up a love of surfing, and when he saw those big, tall, long boards that made of solid wood, made it very hard to surf, he was inspired by the aircraft wing and invented what we're looking at here, the hollow core surfboard. Lightweight, nimble, accessible to all. He also then invented the underwater camera housing, the little fin that goes underneath, and literally wrote the book on surfing. So basically this guy from Milwaukee, who's now buried in Washburn, Wisconsin, um, took this ancient sport of surfing and made it accessible and popular to, to millions. Do you think there were big waves in Milwaukee at the time off Lake Michigan, is it? Uh, they, they do surf off of Sheboygan, uh, certainly, and the, the surfboard we have on display was, believe it or not, made by a surfboard maker in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, walk-on-water surfboards. Uh, there is an unexpected number of people who surf the Great Lakes in Wisconsin. Well, like you said, very unexpected and awesome to know. I would never have thought, you know, someone had changed the world of surfing right here in Wisconsin. So thank you so much, Joe, again, for being with us and sharing that story. You can check out the Innovations Exhibit here. It runs until August. There. That's the very last day. So you'll want to come back uh, before it ends. Then it goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Tickets, I want to say, 4 bucks for adults. We suggested uh, donation of suggested for donations adults, for adults family. and children. Well, thanks again, Joe. Rob and Charlotte, a lot of great stuff to check out yeah. here at the Historical Museum. I never knew right. that about the surfing. Yeah. That's great. Probably find a heck of a lot more. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Mary Jo. Wisconsin's motto is move forward, and that can be seen at a local museum exhibit. Yep. Mary Jo is at the uh, Wisconsin Historical Museum with a look at some of our state's most innovative ideas. Hello, Mary Jo. Hello again. As you guys can see, there's a ton of stuff here that you can check out here at the Historical Museum at their Innovations Exhibit. We've got the original headphones, we have urban agriculture, and now joining us again is Joe Kapler, the museum curator here. So thanks again for being with us, Joe, and you have so much to show, so we're going to try and hit a bunch as much as we can in the next two minutes. So certainly, what do we have here starting off? In this corner here, we have some of the more scientific type of inventions. So the big blue silos you see all over the country, really, A.O. Smith, the Harvestor silo with its glass lining, changed the way grain is stored. Uh, up above here, hanging from the ceiling, an auto frame from a 1903 Cadillac. <laughs> Before Henry Ford could revolutionize industry uh, manufacturing, he needed the suppliers. And a Wisconsin company was one of his major suppliers. Uh, down below it, UW Solution, organ transplant solution that made uh, transplants uh, organs more viable for a longer period of time. Literally life-changing, life-saving innovation here. It's a lot of great stuff. And then some of the other, other things people at home might recognize themselves, and I don't know who has any of these anymore, is the, it's not the telephone, it's the answering machine. The electronic secretary. Yes, gentleman in, in Milwaukee invented this. He was upset that he couldn't tap into AT&T owned phone lines and, and telephones, so he invented his own mechanical workaround. It would pick up uh, mechanically and you would talk into a recording machine. Great. You don't so like uh, the policeman pulling you over? Well, the speedometer, right? Something we take <laughs> for, you know, for granted every day. Another Wisconsin innovation.
That's amazing. I can't believe so much actually came from here. And I do want to mention they also had the typewriter, which came from here. But you know, in addition to this exhibit, which is ending August 3rd, you guys also have a couple of new things coming up. I know downstairs we're showing the the, the maps. Sure, right? certainly. If you have a chance to come in in the next uh, several weeks, we have our Maps and Meanings exhibition on first floor showing uh, cultural illustrations of Wisconsin. And then a special thing in the, in the main floor is some about a dozen world-class treasures from our archives map collections. Maps you're not going to see anywhere else. So Those are from like the 1500s yeah. and way back then, right? Uh, earliest map is from 1513, hand-colored map of the world, uh, a tremendous resource right here in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, a lot of great things to see here at the Historical Museum. Thank you so much, Joe, again, for being with us this morning. And then the Innovations Exhibit does run until August 3rd. That's the very last day you can go to check this out. So again, you'll want to make sure get that in your schedule before the summer wraps up. It runs Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it is by donations. Is Correct. that right? So again, Rob and Charlotte, a lot of fun stuff to check out mm -hmm. here. All right, that's a great music. You can spend a lot of time oh, sure. at that yes. place. Yeah. All right, Mary Jo, thank you.